It's been three days since the flamboyant Nikki Beach Resort closed its doors and already laid off employees are feeling the crunch. The resort, once voted as number two on the 21 hottest Caribbean escapes, was closed down after the property owner's Leeward Resort Limited was sent into receivership to avoid the company from going into liquidation. Since the closure of the once bustling night spot, News 4 has learned that Mr. Peter Gaze was appointed as receiver and manager of the property of Leeward Resort Limited. Limited. The company was placed under receivership after Leeward Resort Limited failed to meet its loan requirements to Caribbean Bank Limited, formerly Belize Bank. On Friday, nearly 89 employees assembled outside of the Nikki Beach Resort collecting their final paychecks from General Manager Jonathan Steers, who off-camera told News 4 that the turns of events were unsuspecting. Steers noted in a press statement on Friday that he is working tirelessly to ensure that the former staff finds new employment and that reservations are relocated. While the news has sent shockwaves throughout the Turks and Caicos Islands community, it has sent an even bigger ripple in the working community as the shutdown shows that no industry or corporation is immune to the current economic decline. Joan Sutton, who commented on the situation in a Friday newscast, told News 4 that she has been bombarded with frantic calls of concerns from locals now uncertain of the future and work permit holders who held lavish positions at the resort, terrified that their time in the country may be up. I made an attempt on Friday to meet with someone from management of Nikki Beach also again today, uh, this morning, and have n haven't made any contact at all. Um, I understand that um, management from Dick Nikki Beach is um, soliciting work in the community, and that is against the law, because right now those people should see about securing their, um, their funds with any money outstanding to them, secure their property, and also I think the law and the human rights give them 30 days for their house and get themselves set up and then to leave the country. They should not be seeking work in this country when we have over 300 people unemployed. And anyone seeking work, it should, um, they should be coming through the Department of Labor and not on island. Labor Commissioner Joan Sutton told News 4 earlier this morning that 89 people were laid off by the hotel establishment and that does not include the top brass officials at the resort. 24 of those 89 were belongers. She said the remaining 65 persons were on work permit and those work permits were automatically void when the establishment seized its operations. So they should not be in the country and any employer seeking um, to place any of them, then they should be doing it while they're overseas, not in the country. And our department will not be working with an employer if that is the approach they're going to take. Okay. And what about those 24 belongers? What is their approach going to take? We start um, registering names also and get, um, seeing by getting the, um, the 20, I think it's about 24 of them, getting them placed in various um, resorts if any work is available. And as I stated before, um, I understand management is seeking to place um, people on work permit and other resort. However, those resorts have not made any contact with us saying that they need anyone. And under Section 105 of the Employment Ordinance, um, they're supposed to give us 14 days notice of any available position. So right off the top, um, Nikki Beach Management or any employer will be breaking the law, and we will seek to prosecute anyone who don't abide by the law. Reliable sources tell News 4 that there were a number of inconsistencies within the company which went unreported to TCI labor and immigration officials until now. Sources tell News 4 that a number of people who came in on supervisory work permits were allegedly given positions as top managers and executives at the Nikki Beach Resort and in turn cheated government officials out of a number of fees which would have been subjected to them, including national insurance and the high price of work permit fees, for managers. For WIV4 News, I'm Angie Toussaint.